If you are an active blogger, one great way to get started with a membership site is to offer gated access to your blog so you can earn income from your most popular content. In this video, we will show you how to use the tools built into WordPress.com to set monthly subscription pricing, publish your first members only blog post, and add a membership signup that you can direct your visitors to. Let's start on our Earn Settings page where we will set up our subscription plan and connect to Stripe so we can accept payment. WordPress.com uses Stripe as a merchant processor for your membership payments, so our first step is to click on the button to connect to Stripe. This will take you to a secure page where you can set up a new Stripe account or connect to an existing account. If you do not have a Stripe account, you can fill out the form on this page to create one, but in this case we will use the sign-in option since we already have an account with Stripe. Once we connect to Stripe, we are redirected back to the Payments page where we can set up our payment plan for members-only content by clicking on the Add New Payment Plan button. Now we can set up our first payment plan, which we will set at $7 a month. We will leave the renewal frequency set to Renew Monthly and then add a brief description. If you look under the Email Settings tab, you can set a custom thank you message to send to your new members in their confirmation email. You also have the option to turn on email subscriptions for this membership level, so members will get new content delivered to their inbox automatically. When you are done, click the Save button and the new subscription is added to your view. We are now ready to create our first members-only blog post. We will start by creating a new blog post and giving it a title. Then we will add the premium content block as our first step and we will add our members only content into this block. When you first add the block, you will see the non-subscriber view, which is what a new visitor will see when they visit your site. This will allow anyone who is not a member to become one right on the spot. A login button is also presented in this view, so your members can log in directly from this blog post as well. You can see in the toolbar at the top that our monthly membership plan is already selected because it is our only plan. But if you click, you can see that it is possible to set up other membership levels without leaving this editor view, and then choose which plan you would like to have access to this content. You can customize this view to say what you wish, so we'll quickly tweak the title to better fit our mission as a membership site. Now let's switch to the subscriber view and start creating our post. You can think of the subscriber view of this block as an empty container into which you can add your full blog post, including all text, images, videos, etc. Any standard block that you would use in creating your blog post can be added inside of this block and only paying members can see it. Now that we've set up our premium content block, we're just about ready to publish. Before we do, this is a good time to add a category to help us organize the content for visitors. In addition, we will set a featured image which will appear in our site design, as well as when we share to social media. Most social media sites suggest that this image be at least 480 pixels by 480 pixels or larger. So be sure to avoid using images that are smaller than that. Also try to pick an image that will stand up to being cropped a bit, as different social media sites may crop the image to fit their layout. Because the full contents of our post is members only, we will also want to add an excerpt or a short bit of teaser text. This text is unlocked and will display on your site depending on theme. It will also be picked up by Google and social media sites when you share the content online. Now that everything is set, we're ready to publish our first members only blog post. If you visit the post from here, you will see the view that paying members see. To see the post as a non-member, you can load it within a private or incognito browser window. Because you are not logged in as a site admin in this kind of window, you will see exactly what a new visitor to your site would see before they sign up. Because you are viewing the page as a non-subscriber, you can also see that it's very easy to become a member. Payment is made in a secure pop-up window, and as soon as the transaction is complete, the contents will be unlocked so you can continue reading. However, it's always a good idea to provide more than one way to become a member, so we are going to take advantage of an About page that we've already set up to add a Sign Up button. The About page is a good place for this, as it's a natural way to let someone know what your site is about, 
what kinds of things a visitor might find there and help persuade them to become a member. It also gives us a place to send traffic from a homepage call to action section, which we will cover later. In this case, the page already has text explaining what the site is about, so we can add to that a simple blurb about becoming a member, followed by adding the payments block so we can accept payment on this page. When you first add the block, you will see that you have the option to set up a new payment plan, but since we've already done that, we can just pick our existing membership level. Finally, we will customize the button text to make it clear that you can click it to become a member and get access to the content. Once the button is customized, we're all set to update our changes to this page. On many membership sites, you will find a call to action section of some kind to help funnel interested visitors into becoming a member. Many themes on WordPress.com will have a section like this that you can set up on your site, typically on the homepage. Heaver is the name of the theme we've activated on this site, and in the demo homepage, there is a section already in place for this purpose. We can start to customize it by picking a background image that is more appropriate to our site. We will also customize the text a bit to create a teaser that will get our visitors to act. Once we are set there, we are ready to customize the button. First, we will customize the button text. And in this case, our plan is to send traffic to the About page we just set up which is our goal page for explaining the value proposition of becoming a member to the site. To link to the About page, click the link icon and start typing in the title of the page and it will show up in the search results below. Once we add the link to the button, we're all set. We now have a home page call to action section to direct visitors to our membership information page. The demo content of this home page is a good starting point. But one other change we can make is to add a section to show some of our recent blog posts. We'll start by removing the columns block that is in the demo layout and instead replace it with the blog posts block, which is a nice way to show a list of posts from your blog. You can already see blog posts showing up in the block as soon as it's added, as well as the featured images and excerpt text that we added earlier. You will also notice there are a lot of settings for this block. So let's start by changing the layout from a list to a grid so that more posts are visible at a glance. We can also add a heading to this section, so let's call it Latest Posts from the Blog to make it clear what we are showing in this space. On the right, in the block settings in the sidebar, there are more options, such as to limit the number of posts being displayed to a specific category or tag, the number of posts being displayed, and more. For now, we will leave most of these settings at their defaults, but we will make a couple of tweaks here to reduce the text size for articles in the block, as well as hide the author byline and profile image to reduce clutter in the space. And finally, because this block only shows a few of our most recent posts, we will want to add a way for visitors to see all posts which are on our blog page. To do that, we can add another button and customize the text a little bit, and then link to our blog page. Finally, let's center the button, which looks a little nicer in this layout, and then we're ready to update our changes. And with that final change, we're all set. We've now created a premium membership blog with members only content, a sign up page, and a custom homepage with call to action for subscriptions and a feed of most recent posts. Mm -hmm.